This video is just going to quickly look at how to create a dichotomous key and then how to use a dichotomous key. Imagine that you have four different types of turtles, imaginatively called A, B, C and D. And you want to create a key that can classify these so that if somebody comes along and has a random turtle, what does it look like? When you're making a key, you need to look at the characteristics of the organisms you have and how you could separate them. In this particular case, you can see that these turtles have different shell shapes. One has a rounded shell, one has a pointier shell. So let's move the ones with the rounded shell over to this side and leave the other ones here. So what we've done is ask a question which has a yes or no answer. In this particular case, does the turtle have a triangular shell? If yes, then it must be either B or D. If no, then it must be A or C. Now we need to think about how to separate these out into different groups again. Now you can see that some of them have a pattern on their shells and some of them don't. In this particular case you can ask the same question twice. So we now ask the second question, which is, does the shell have a pattern? Now obviously in this particular case you can ask the same question twice, but you might need different questions for either side of the tree as you're coming along. If it's yes, for both questions, then it's going to be B, this one here. If it's yes, then no, it's D. If it's no, then yes, it's A. If it's no, then no, it's C. And this allows you to identify any turtle. If you've been given another turtle, which is one of these, you go through the process and you can identify which of these turtles it is. And that's all that's really to making dichotomous keys or using dichotomous keys as well. Um, note that you need um, three questions to separate out four individuals. If you have ten individuals, you need nine questions and so on. You need to so there's always one less than the number of individuals that you're trying to separate. So if you have ten, there's nine. If there's four, there's three. If there's 200, there's 199 different questions. And that's all there's really to, to making dichotomous keys.